Hi again. Now that we've set up our scene, we're going to get to the really fun stuff. That is programming our objects to do actions using methods. In this video, we're going to teach our character to introduce himself and to do a backflip. Click on your character's name in the object tree. A list of methods will pop up down in the details pane. If you don't see this, click on the methods tab at the top of the pane. In most programming languages, we call such actions, or verbs, methods, and that tradition holds an Alice. These methods are sorted into five groups. The first group performs essentially the same functions as those positional buttons that we used in previous videos, except these act while the program is running. The second group allows our character to communicate with the user by saying things, thinking things, both of these come up in a talk bubble, or playing a sound. The third group lets our character move with respect to other objects. Say it could move away from a shark or turn towards a coconut. The fourth and fifth groups are a bit more advanced, but the fourth group lets you adjust the speed at which actions happen, and the fifth group lets us set restraints on those actions. To tell your character to do something, just click on one of these methods and drag and drop it into the method editor. Right now, the tab at the top of the method editor indicates that we are editing the world.myFirstMethod method. In the event editor, we can see that when the world starts, the program does world.myFirstMethod. This means that anything that we drop into world.myFirstMethod will be performed as soon as we press play. Let's drag in the method say to start so that we can introduce our character. It's in the second group. If you click on it and drag it into the method editor and select other in the menu that comes up, you'll be able to choose what your character says freely. Type in something like, hey, welcome to my pilot. And now if you press play, you can watch our amazing program run. Alright, so not much happens right now. It's just a one second program. To make things more exciting, we'll add in that backflip I was talking about. Click stop. And now, since your character doesn't already know how to do backflips, we'll have to teach him or her. In the details pane for your character, click the gray create new method button. Call your method backflip. It's conventional to write the first word of a new method in lowercase and have each successive word start with a capital letter. A new tab will appear in your method editor titled name.backflip. The word before the period is the object who's performing the method, and any words after the period is the name of your method. For example, the other tab says world.myFirstMethod, which means that the world, the entire program, is calling the first method that runs when our world starts. To teach our character how to do a backflip, we'll combine things that he already knows how to do. There are essentially three steps to a backflip, the jump up, the backwards flip, and the landing. So we'll drag these commands into the method editor in order. First, for the jump up, we'll simply drag in a move command. Then we'll select up, and then we'll choose one meter. And then for the flip, we'll just drag in a turn. Then we'll choose backwards, and then we'll choose one revolution so it goes all the way around. And then finally, for the landing, we'll just choose drag in another move, and then down in one meter. So right now, our character jumps up, flips backwards, and moves back down. To make this happen in our world immediately, we can change the event when the world starts to call just backflip instead of world.myFirstMethod. So select world.myFirstMethod in this event up here, go to random guy 1, and then choose backflip. Random guy 1 will be replaced by your character's name. Now we can test it, and without giving the instructions, your character will do it. So your character should flip, but he might hit his head depending on how tall he or she is. So we'll close the window, and in our first act of debugging, we'll increase how high he jumps. Find where it says move up one meter, and click on the one meter part to change it. Select other, and then a calculator will come up. 
type in 1.75 and click OK. This should be enough to prevent his head from hitting the ground, but it might be different depending on how tall the character that you're using is. Now he's moving up 1.75 meters, but he's only moving down 1. So we'll have to change that because otherwise he'll be floating above the ground at the end of the program. So click where it says 1 meter in the move down. And 1.75 meters will already be on the list because Alice saves our most recently used numbers. Select that and then test your program again. And it should look better now. Now to run the introduction and the backflip together, we'll put a call to our backflip method into our first method and run that first. Reselect the world.myFirstMethod tab at the top of your method editor. Now, drag in your character's backflip method from the top of its details pane. Finally, we'll change the event that runs when the world starts back to world.myFirstMethod, which will run everything that we currently see in the method editor. Now just press play, and there we go. It all runs together. So finally, as always, just click stop, and then go to file, and save world. In the next video, we'll make the first part of our shark attack method.